Today we are going to talk about how we can uh, mock some services using SOAP UI. Uh, if you ever happen to work with the REST development or some integration with some backend web services, uh, then this requirement definitely one of your key point. Because uh, when you develop some REST integration, the problem may be REST or SOAP, doesn't matter. Here I'm going to talk about the REST. Uh, the your backend team is not ready to deliver your services whenever you're going through your development. Let's say, for example, in your project, you are developing success path, error scenarios, edge cases. In those situations, they may not ready. Even though they're ready, there may be some edge cases you can't reproduce through web services because that service, you may not have access to that. You may not have a way to control it. And there may be a certain processes you have to go through, modify the web service. And if you have a larger team, then you can't do your own modification. Mock web service is a solution for all those. Mocking web service is nothing but it's a virtual service. It will give you a response the way you need because you can customize it. Here today I'm going to use SOAP UI uh, to mock the service and Postman which is the uh, Chrome plugin to call this service. I'm not going to cover how you can uh, install SOAP UI because it's highly dependent on the platform what you're going to use, Linux, Mac OS or Windows. And so therefore it's a separate, you can go through their tutorial installation guide and you can get it installed and ready. Uh, I'm going to use uh, SOAP UI this 5.2.1 version and uh, any latest version which would be compatible. Here you can see uh, this is the very basic welcome screen and you can create a new project. I'm going to create an empty project and I'm going to give the name as sample mock project. Uh, then you can see here uh, there is a new SOAP mock service and new REST mock service. We are going to talk about the REST mock service but uh, if, you, if you can manage with this you can go with the SOAP mock service as well. So my I'm going to mock by student service. This name doesn't matter, you can give whatever the name you want. Now you can right click here and you can have a new mock action. Okay. So you have, you know, like there are several uh, SOAP action, uh, REST web service when you have a different, different HTTP action. You have a get, you can use a post, put, delete, head, option, whatever. Mainly we are using a get, post, put uh, kind of thing. And there are discussions put or post. Uh, the simple answer for that, if, you, if you're going to control your IDs and everything on what you're going to create, so it is best you can use a put. And if your server deciding what is the ID and what is the uh, identification for your object, it's better to use a post. There's nothing make differences. So I'm, I'm going to give the resource path as a student. And that's it that's created so that means if someone call my soap service slash student this is the response i'm going to give so new mock response let's say all student so again this names you can uh, write anything so this is the http status code you know there are a series of status codes and 200 series is responsible for success response and 300 series are uh, responsible for redirection we simply call go away and 400 series responsible for client side errors and 500 series responsible for server side errors so i'm going to give the json response and i have some predefined response here so i'm going to give entire student object as a response 
if you want to return some headers custom headers or HTTP standard headers you can uh, use this section so I'm going to uh, return a status header it's just a custom header all and that's it now we are going to create other mock action that's also get but this time it's a student one so that means we are going to fetch single student and mock response name doesn't matter you can do whatever the name you want and you can paste it here this is a json uh, response again and status okay and just let's see how we can define different uh, new mock action mm. let's get put post something i'm going to create another student you can see here the student the student but this is a post this one is get and new mock response create a student and again I'm going to do the case and response uh, student is created he is some different value okay so now we have created uh, several 200 okay responses let's create some uh, 400 series response so at uh, service action get let's if someone create students some wrong uh, resource and new mock responses let's say 400 bad request and we can we may not need to have any uh, response body but we can define here 400 so now we have several we have several scenarios to test right so you can have one two three four scenarios okay so let's go to postman uh before go to postman here we can see if you check this service it's running on port 8080 you can see it here you can see it here it's running on port 8080 so now we are going to restart the service now you can see it running and go to postman and you can give this name so now when we send it you can see this post we have created the student as a post so this is our hard coded uh, no matter how many time you send this it will come as a post so let's try get so you can see all the student records and if you try with get slash one you can see the single list and if you try the students You can see uh, no message body, no re response body, but you can see 400 bad requests. So this is how you can uh, simply uh, mock your services. Uh, if you go back again to the post, you can see it's always getting some uh, static response. If you want to add this uh, to dynamic value, we are going to discuss some more advanced mock service mock, uh, with uh, different tutorial. But if you uh, simply want to go here, and if you want to uh, give some dynamic responses here yeah, you can do the script and you can uh, write some basic script here you can write context dot set property uh, this is my property name is key and value is math dot render 
right so what this will do this will create uh, math dot random value and assign to the key and from here what i can do is instead of directly assign a uh, static value i can use this key variable but method random will give you a decimal value so you can uh, multiply by some large number to get full value right so that's we done we just uh, we don't need but for a safe side just bounce your mock service okay and let's try this so you can see uh, still we have uh, two decimal places simple math right so we can go back here and now you can see for each call it give you a dynamic uh, response so this is some basic functionality basic uh, the way you can uh, mock your services uh, let's discuss some in detail in that some little advanced topic from a different tutorial.